Hey everyone, welcome back. When we last left off, we were working on our arcade cabinet project, and uh, I used some shady methods to get the form cut out. And if we take a close look, my circular saw work is somewhat suspect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a router to straighten up those edges, uh, which means I'm going to have to deviate from the exact millimeter specific dimensions I put on my drawings that I've posted online for you. But it's going to get me the finish we need. We need straight edges. This is the exposed face of our arcade cabinet here. So this profile needs to be really, really sharp. Uh, so what we're going to start off doing is we're going to clamp these corners together nice and tight. Uh, these are the finished edges of the plywood. So I know these are right angles. I know these are going to be exactly what we need to be. So we'll line them up. We'll clamp everything together. And then we'll take our time with a router and we'll straighten up guys like this. Okay, so what I've done here is I've put an offset for my straight edge about 65 millimeters from where I want the cutting edge of the router to be. I'm going to come along here and we're going a little bit by hand, but this is going to give me a heck of a straighter line than uh, what I was doing with the circular saw before. So if you're starting from scratch, just skip what I did with the circular saw and start from here and set your guide according to the measurements in the plans that you have. So, we get some safety equipment on. is that I've got two plies of 19 millimeter plywood here or two plies of three quarter inch plywood. My router bit is only 35 millimeters, not 38. So I'm gonna have to make one pass, then lower the bit and make a second pass to clean it all up.
now I've achieved a nice flush line here, something that I could be happy assembling now. Uh, I was in places, you know, a quarter inch, even, yeah, as much as about a quarter inch out. So this is going to even things up quite nicely. It doesn't have to be perfect because these two panels, these two side panels, are going to be about 33 inches apart. Maybe 36, I forget. Uh, so they don't have to be picture perfect, but uh, getting them nice and even is going to give you a much better chance at getting a nice clean finish. So, uh, without further ado, I'll just get into evening up all the other cut edges I have here and uh, I'll speed that up for you. have it a um, couple things that aren't ideal this guy right here a little suspect I'll probably just take a sander to that that's not a big deal but you can tell these corners are much much nicer this used to be a dog's breakfast um, another thing I learned if you're using good one side plywood you might want a sandwich the good side inside as opposed to have the good side out. So learn from my mistakes. I'll use some filler there and sand it out. You probably won't be able to tell. A couple of scuffs here from clamps and whatnot. Again, if I were to do it all over again, keep the good side in, but much, much happier with how clean these lines are now. This looks like something I could actually live with. It was, uh, Pretty disastrous before, but this, this now looks like I can work with it. So there you have it for now. Next step is to cut the dados into the actual panels so that I could put the, the floor supports, the keyboard support, the screen support, uh, the, the top to it, put all that in. Uh, now we're into the actual fabricating side. So thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.